Hi students, welcome back. Uh, let me explain you the static imports program. So in the previous video, I explained what is exactly the static import is. So now let's try to execute that program, whatever I explained in the previous video. Okay, so here what I'm doing is, uh, this is just taking the wrapper class only. Uh, now, let me uh, import here, import static java dot lang dot now i'm writing the integer that is a wrapper class integer dot star so whenever i mention integer dot star okay so the methods that are present inside the integer that can be used okay without writing integer dot without using the class name that is the main thing so it allows to access all static members of integer class without the class name all the static members static members of integer that's why here i have mentioned static the static members of integer class without class name we can access okay so this feature is allows to avoid class name with static members allow uh, avoids to use the class name so let me take one more import also import so we are import uh, static import static java dot java dot lang dot and this time i'm taking the class system that is system dot out dot println it's right there so that system dot uh, out dot println in there you no need to class uh, use the system okay you, you can simply write out dot println because you are imported you are already import, imported system dot so whatever the methods uh, all the static members of system class without class name you can access without class name you can access that is how without this class name you can access the same program i'm taking so i simply remove the system one because i already imported here import static java dot line dot system dot star so whenever you import it so you no need to mention the system class here in the same way here also you no need to mention integer class why I don't need to mention because I already imported static java dot land dot integer class. So you no need to mention it. Okay. So this is the way you have to uh, write uh, that is static import classes. So this feature allows to avoid the class name with static members. I simply avoided using system class. Simply I had written out dot println. Okay. Save this program and try to execute run as java application so see here the same output suppose if i change here like 45 execute right click run as java application see here the binary number of the 45 integer converted to two binary i didn't include the integer dot because i already imported and the octal number of 45 is 55 and the hexa string of this 45 is 2d okay so this is the usage of the static imports if you mention if you imported that uh, class you no need to mention the class name in the program okay so let me take the another program uh, so that static uh, in the integer method integer class you you are using one method that is a parse int parse int so the parse int is used to uh, parse integers from a given string okay so let me take an example uh, so the same program I'm modifying here, what I'm doing here is, uh, so I already imported integer, so I don't want to mention the class name. Simply I'm writing int x is equal to, let me take int x is equal to, I'm not mentioning integer dot. Okay, if you, if you want to mention integer dot, integer dot, then you no need to import it. So I already imported it, so I'm not mentioning integer dot. Directly I'm calling the method that is present in integer class. That is a parse int. Parse int is a method that is present in Java dot line dot integer class. Parse int argument zero. So whatever the argument that I passed, so that argument that is a string, right? Argument is a string because public static void means string arguments whatever the arguments that are present in the declared in the main method so that is a string so that string has to be converted into parse int okay parse int 
Now let me take another variable int y is equal to, I'm converting into parse int. Parse int arguments one. Argument one. Whatever the argument one, that will be converted to parse int. Now let me try to uh, print a system dot out dot print ln. So print ln. So I'm using like, um, so x plus y. X plus y. Okay, so x plus y. Okay, so now save the program. Save the program. Try to execute it. Right click. Run as Java application. See here. Exception is thread main. Java.lang.array index out of bound exception. Okay, index zero. So whatever I had given. So it is throwing an exception, number format, uh, index out of bound exception. So that means you have to pass the arguments, right? So here you also no need to mention system because I already imported the system, right? So that is what if you, you have to give in the command line argument, right? So what I said before writing in the command line argument, first try to execute the program, run the program. Now go with run as, run configuration, so wrapper classes go with the arguments. So try to give the arguments here. I'm giving 30 and 80. Apply, run. So both string is going to be added. See here. In the previous video, when I explained something like argument 0 and argument 1, okay, if that is, if you want to pass those two strings are concatenated. Concaten if you didn't mention the parse int, these strings are concatenated. So whatever the 30 and 80 I entered, the 30, 80 is going to be concatenated. But here I use the parse int. Parse int means whatever the string I had entered that is converted into integer. And this is also the string that is converted into integer. And those two integers are added and the result will be appeared. 110. Okay. That result is printed. Now, Suppose if I give, instead of integers, if I give the string, what will happen? Now try to execute it, run. Okay, run, run configuration. So arguments. So here what I'm giving is, I'll give the strings. Let me give my name, Bhanu space Priya. What will happen? Come on, guess what happens? So Banu is a string, Priya is also a string. If I want to convert into parsing, is it will execute it? Let me apply, run. See here, exception. Number format exception error will be occurred. Why? Because number format exception. Because string cannot convert into number. Whatever the string I had given, that cannot be converted into number. The wrapper class. So here it will not, cannot convert it into number. So the parse int is used to take only the integers. Whatever the integers that we are entered, the, those integers uh, are going to be argument zero. So that means it's nothing but uh, suppose whatever the number I had entered 30. It is a string. Okay, that string will be converted into number 30. Okay, it will be converted into 30. Okay. So this is the way you have to be executed. So now go with the wrapper class. Run as. Run configuration. Arguments. So here only give 20 space 30. So apply. Run. So 20, 30, 50 you'll get. So one thing you have to remember that the parse int method is used to uh, parse integer from given string. It is helpful to parse integers from given string. In the given string, it is used to parse only the integers. Okay. Thank you.